Hey guys, it's Jonathan with Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have Bianca. This truck started out as a dilapidated two-door truck. Take a look at this slideshow. You're gonna be able to see much more information on how we built this on our blog. It's on bulletmotorsports.com slash blog or you just go on the site and you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna start off with the front fascia of this truck. I'm gonna use the word hardware probably 50 to 60 times, so if you guys wanna start drinking now, every time I say it, take a shot. We have modified an A2 front brush guard to an A1 uh, brush guard mount. We've made custom pieces here, and we've used all new hardware. You've got yourself a set of truck light LED lights as you pan from the top to the bottom of this, I want you to make, take note of all the stainless hardware. We have an MME hardtop with all new hardware. Uh, everything has been color matched with either satin black or gloss black. When I open up this front clamshell, I want you to look at the interior panels and the side panels. We have modified the red dot AC to run a condenser up front and we've mounted 24 bolt wheels, so we've disassembled. These are tires that are within six months. These are not surplus tires. We've got beads inside there, so it balances out really nice and it rides really nice. Look inside of here, and you'll see a little bit of dirt on it, but we've driven it, that there is all new components. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and while you do that, I want you to look at the doors and the side and the paint. So this is painted at Collision Kingdom, which is our local paint shop right here. And we were able to document the whole thing. They did a phenomenal job based on how it started. I'm really happy with their work. Can you help me open this up? So I want you to look at that area right there. We've replaced every electronic on this truck. Yes, it still has the original 6.5 liter, but we've completely serviced it. We've installed a new alternator, new Cadillac valve, new time delay module, new windshield wiper squirter uh, reservoir, along with new wipers, new glass, and new rubber throughout. When you look at the front fascia here, look at the custom mounted condenser. We had our fabricator make brackets that are bolt on. So you don't have to worry about when you need to service this thing or you need to take the radiator out, it comes right out with ease. I want you to look at all the bolts on the inside along with all the hardware up here with the new gaskets. Come on this side over here. I wanna show you something. So the chassis is painted uh, gloss black and then we've used satin accents to break it apart. Uh, we've got our, uh, our air condition set up here and then when we did the AC system, we actually made our own harnesses so that we could run the switches to the driver's side uh, switch panel. So I'll show you that later. We've color matched uh, the air cleaner and the air box, all new fluids and filters. So this is a fully serviced truck. It's not just pretty. Uh, we've done gloss black for the mushroom cap and then all the hardware here is brand new. There's the 24 bolt wheels again. We color match the centers. And then look at the uh, inside there. So it's a uh, Raptor lined. And then the interior of this truck is unbelievable. I'm gonna keep going around the exterior. Let me go ahead and close this so you can see all the hardware up here. We should get a hardware number counter. Ugh. We've made custom uh, brackets for this so that we can make the hood fit evenly. When we had it originally set in place, I did not like the gap and it was also rubbing and causing noise. So we set up some aluminum, we, we CNC'd some aluminum, put it in place, and now you're good to go. New mirrors, MME top. We've modified the MME top so it fits a little bit better. We've also made uh, brackets that would cover any sort of seam sealer, so if there was any issues with flexing, you're not gonna see that crack. That's in gloss black. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I want you to see the interior. I'll let you get in front of there and start panning through it and I'll kind of talk at what you're looking at. We've got ourselves a four switch pat, uh, box right here. And this controls everything from your cabin lights. So you flip that on, take a look. You've got cabin lights on the B pillar. You also have a charging port in the center. So when you do that, there's a charging port, a USB port, you're able to control or power up your uh, devices. We also have AC. So your AC is set up here. 
Then you've got your low, medium, and high controls. It blows 42 degrees out of those vents. I'm gonna open up the back door. I'm, obviously, you're taking note of all the hardware inside here that's replaced. Brand new gauges, gauge, gauge pod as well. We color matched it. All new bezels. And you can see Mr. c signature right there on our placard. Uh, let's look at these doors right here. So we disassembled these doors 100% and rebuilt them with all new hardware. So you got yourself a locking uh, door handle and then all of the mechanisms have been sandblasted, painted, and redone. You got yourself new felt as well and new glass. Let me go ahead and open up this side. So the Line X is rolled over so you don't have any issues with scratches on your fresh paint. And then there's your red dot system. We've modified that to not have the condenser on the roof. And we showed it to you earlier. Everything is super clean. You got a set of best top seats. Everything has been made it correctly. So this is all new aluminum to mount it to. Uh, we made some covers for the front A pillar. So you don't see any holes or any sort of insulation. So that's on both sides. Really nice touch. When you start it up, your AC goes on and you can control it. The blower, low, high. All the light bezels have been touched up as well, so they don't make this in this color, in this, in this flat black or satin black. So we paint it and then we uh, etch off the actual emblems or the, the marker numbers. Vibrant steering wheel. And then every single car. So when you buy a Humvee from us, we clean these things up and we find a lot of cool things inside of them. This one had a little bit of ammunition inside of it, along with the 50 cal uh, bullet. Then there's the spare keys. Brand new seatbelts throughout. While you're looking at that dash, let me go ahead and grab my phone. I want to show you guys the stereo. It's a Bluetooth powered AS10. So this has about, I think it's 400 watts. And then we've got two AS6 subwoofers, also weather resistant. What you can do is you hook up to your Bluetooth on this with your phone, and then you can control the volume. So literally put it up as loud as you want. You can also control your bass. Let me lower this a little bit. You can control your bass from that controller right there. So he's turning off now and then put it up. And then uh, this remote right here, you can actually mute it if you're driving on the top button and then push it again and it'll come back on. So lowering it with my phone now. It's pretty neat. All the wiring is uh, marine grade, so you're not going to have any issues in the future. We usually show the box, but I think that this is a long enough video as it is. Let's keep on walking around it. Look inside these fenders. Everything has been lined. You've got color match shocks as well. And then I want you to follow this paint line. I want you to see that it's not green underneath. This truck was green. When you follow down here, look at how the paint line is cut. Look underneath here. Extremely nice. Let's pull that up and go to the rear. You've got your uh, truck light LEDs on the corners and the rear. We've done new buckets. All new hardware has been sandblasted and put together. You've got a uh, LED tag light bracket that is quick disconnect. So if you need to take this off to go off-roading or you get in a situation, you just pull it right off. We have embossed the tailgate with the American flag and that's paint. It's not just a sticker. Let me go ahead and open this up. So the Line X is flowing through the interior and then we sealed this so that no water would run inside. Look how nice the paint is. Spare tire, he was requested that. And you've got a sliding rear window with no mesh. So if you have a dog, he can hang out there. Paint is extremely nice. So when you look at the angle of this paint, I want you to see that it's pretty much perfect. There's no waves, all new hardware again. <laughs> And then look inside the fender well, you can see that we've uh, run everything professionally and everything has been touched. All the portal axles in this truck were rebuilt. So we have Mod Mafia portal axle covers. You can see that them on the inside here, along with the color mat shocks and all the hardware. When you scroll underneath there, you're gonna see that everything has been touched up in regards to the frame. What you're seeing dripping right there is just from the air condition system. We were running it when we were driving out here. 
So let's go ahead and step back. I'm gonna close this brush guard. Mr. Seamel, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be very happy with this truck. He did talk about a Duramax swap in the future, so I'm sure this is gonna come back. This is the perfect candidate for a high horsepower build as everything has been touched up. Let's get on this angle right here just so you can see how nice the paint is. If you have any questions or comments about this truck, don't hesitate to leave a message or, or give us a call. Our phone number is 954-363-2261. Right now we have a year and a half wait on trucks like this, but we can do basic builds in about a month. Thank you.